lot of guys wouldn't have rocked up to this press conference after mm. after that, and I yeah. imagine this must be really hard. Yeah. Maybe given um, the nature of that, but what are your thoughts? On well, mate, it is what it is. Yeah, we're we're in for a fight. Um, if I'd done the same thing, yeah, I'd assume he'd be doing the same thing as well. So we're in for a fight. Someone's got to win. Um, I don't know where exactly I got hit the first sort of shot, but around here. But basically, I can't hear on my left ear, so it just took the equilibrium off me. Um, I couldn't recover. So he did the swarming, and uh, well done to him. Yeah. Were you shocked? A little bit. I was actually a little bit. Yeah. Um, I didn't exactly listen to the game plan. Uh, the jab came out nice, which was good, but uh, I wasn't squaring up enough and stuff like that. So the game plan didn't go too plan. But um, yeah, I started. I, th I think he's you nose know, started going red straight away with two with two jabs. So I thought, oh, we're off to a good start, but didn't end up that way. Can you not listen to the game plan? Because you thought you might have just basically knocked him in. No, it's from um, obviously you, you've you've got what you've sort of done for ten years. You know what I mean? And and no matter what, that's sort of what you revert back to. So. I was a little bit too sort of side on, so when it comes to the right hand, I have to sort of lean into it, sort of thing. Where the game plan was to shape up a little bit more, so it's a quickie snap right hand. So that was what should have happened with the right hand. But um, yeah, as I was still throwing the left, nice, but I was too sort of side on for the right hand. Did he accuse you of not having any respect for him for the last couple of weeks? Mm. Did you respect him enough? I do now. Well, obviously, that, that was always going to be the plan. Um, yeah, we could have a drink afterwards, but. It's a fight, you know, we're building up the fight, we've both got that animosity backwards and forwards, put bums on seats, etc. So yeah, now it's all done. Same with like Dillian White, for example. Uh, there was a lot of trash talk backwards and forwards, but we talk all the time on social media now. So if I if I still hate him, well, that's my fault, not his, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't mind at all. Lucas, you've been out of the ring for a long time. Yep. Um, was it a distraction? Was it... Were you, were you, were you, did you have your game face on when you went out there? Or? I did have my game face, yes. Uh, as I said, the plan just didn't go the way the plan should have. Um, if it was a great shot, you can't sort of fault that from his end. And then he just swarmed. So, yeah, I, I, had, I didn't have the equilibrium. Um, and he capitalised. So, good luck to him. Uh, no, well done to him. I ask you this uh, respectfully and obviously sensing now, but yep. have you got a sense for what's next? Definitely not the last fight. Um, I, I've... It's been like a year and a half since my, uh, my last fight, so I want to try and stay active as I can, um, whether it be someone like a Solomon Amono or something like that, but I, I do want to, within the next couple of months, have another fight. Um, you never know what could happen. We've still got the, uh, the likes of a Dempsey McKean um, and people like that as well, so yeah, just take it from there. I know there's obviously been talks with particularly um, Justice, and mm -hmm. Dempsey's obviously a guy that's wanted to fight for a long, long time. Yep. Like they can be made pretty easily still. I believe so. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with uh, Justice for the fact that obviously you've got the Olympics sort of thing coming on. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be someone for sure, and someone in Australia, so it's good. Gallon believes you didn't train hard enough for this fight. Did you train hard enough? I did, mate, yeah, yeah, honestly. Um, he was talking about uh, me leaving it too late and all that sort of stuff. I did all my fitness and work and stuff in Perth first before I came over here. But um, f the future will hold a lot of like the fitness in Perth, but I'll come over here maybe three, four weeks out from the fight rather than two, just to make sure everything sits in and the game plan is where it should be. So, yeah, for, for the future, I think uh, a four-week camp with, with Jared over here at Dream Time uh, will be much more beneficial. Is Arsene Fossil a 100%, mate. I reckon that'd be a great fight, yeah. Two, like, it's pretty much my size and weight as well. So, I, I, again, I reckon a, a nice fan-friendly fight. So, yeah. For sure. What's your message for, um, like, just, just as a human being fronting up when things are hard? Because yeah. I, I didn't expect you to turn up right now. Yeah, I right just think it's a, it speaks to, to your character, you know, it's, a, it's impressive. At first, you said you want to do it in media, I went, no. I, I, straight away, I said no. But he said, oh, they're all waiting. I went, oh, okay. Like, I, I thought it was maybe just yourself or someone else. But when he said, oh, there's people, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's got to be done. Um, someone's got to lose, you know what I mean? And as long as you learn from what happens, that's all that matters, you know what I mean? So from the Dillian White uh, fight, that was my first ever loss. Um, obviously, I, I, I wasn't in good shape um, physically and then mentally. So I've made sure that I haven't been in that position again, you know. So as long as you're learning from your mistakes and or failures, it's all good. So, yeah, keep going. Good Gallon was to keep on fighting, you know, guys like Justice Mooney have been talked about. Can yep. he go with someone like him? I don't know. Justice is, is definitely a crafty young fella. Um, apparently, he doesn't have much power in terms of, like, heavyweight power, but he'll just hit you all day. So, it all depends. Like, he's, uh, what, 11-0 now, um, Gallon? 
again, he's not a boxer. I'm still going to maintain that he's not a boxer. He's a fighter, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, Rocky, Rocky um, against Apollo Creed, he was the fighter, not the boxer. You know what I mean? So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if he keeps going, why not? Yeah, he keeps active, keeps going. Good luck to him. Feel good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.